If you're looking to improve on a new technology or something unrelated to your current work scope, try picking up a side project. Hello, my name is Mina Zhou. I am a lead application security engineer at Autodesk. Hi, my name is Matt Battles, and I'm an engineering lead in the ACS division of Autodesk. Today, I want to share some tips on how you can continuously improve your technical skills. Tip number one. When learning a new skill or technology, it's best to really take the time to master the skill rather than rushing through it. There are lots of resources for learning new skills and technologies, most of which are readily available online. Google and Stack Overflow are great resources for quick answers to questions, but most, if not all, languages and libraries have online documentation that can be referenced as well. If you're stuck on where to start, there are also tons of great online learning resources, such as LinkedIn Learning, Udemy, and Code Academy, just to name a few. When learning a new term or concept, make sure you truly understand it before moving on. Avoid rushing through it. Sometimes people have the tendency to focus more on the topic they are familiar with and skim through those they aren't. Try to keep researching and exploring the same topic until you feel like you get it. If you've read through the docs and you're still stuck, schedule some time with a colleague or friend to talk through the problem. This will help to improve your communication skills as well, as clearly articulating an issue can be the best way to finding a solution quickly and efficiently. And remember it. Learning is a marathon, not a sprint. Tip number two is to learn by doing. If there's an area of your code you're unfamiliar with, try picking up a bug in that domain. This will help you to immerse yourself in the code and give you a place to start digging, rather than trying to understand the entire domain at once. Diving in and getting to the core of an issue can be very meaningful, and solving the problem will help you to really cement the knowledge into your mind. When you feel stuck on a project and are looking for solutions online, Try not to copy and paste other people's work line by line without reviewing it. Make sure you review and understand the approaches and what they did differently to make things work. Implement the same idea with different approaches and try to figure out what works the best for you. With this, you are not only building one thought process per problem, but actually figure out the best solution and own it. If you're looking to improve on a new technology or something unrelated to your current work scope, Try picking up a side project. Lots of people think these side projects need to be completely original ideas that are intended to develop into a new business or opportunity. But really, something as simple as building a game or feature from an app that you really enjoy can be extremely rewarding and give you a clear and obtainable benchmark to work towards. Tip three, set measurable, useful goal. When starting to make goals, focus on things that can be measured and start small. Break down your long-term goal into short-term tasks with reasonable deadlines. Here, reasonable is the key and it might have a different meaning for you than for me. But the ground rule here is that you will not want to go too fast to burn out or have a day set too far away to make you feel motivated. Another thing to think about when trying to set motivating goals is to really focus on the why. Think about what you want to get out of your time as an engineer and how you want to progress in your career over the next one, two, or even five years. And this will help you to really set goals that align with your ambitions, as well as derive a lot of meaning out of your goals. If you fail to meet the deadline, instead of blaming yourself, adjust your plan and think about what you can do better next time. And do the same thing when you meet your deadline early as well. Ask yourself, were you not being ambitious enough? Is it easier than you thought? Or did you find a new technique that works better for you than usual? And most importantly, when you achieve something, celebrate! These tips have really helped me in developing my career at Autodesk and learning to improve my technical skills as the years have gone by. Thank you for listening, and I hope these tips can help you too.